Hey, it's the Terminian Hero here, and we're playing some more Super Mario 64. We have eight stars, so we can get into the big star door. Reacting to the star power, the door slowly opens. There's the peach painting. Does that mean it goes to a world with peach? Oh no, it's Bowser! Oh no! Wahahaha! <laughs> You've stepped right into my trap, just as I knew you would. I warn you, friend. Watch your step. So yeah, now we're at Bowser in the Dark World. So, the goal of this level isn't to get a star, but there is a star here that we can get. As you see, there are red coins. Hitting that switch temporarily makes some of these cork blocks appear. So let's get out of here before they disappear. There's also another cork block that appeared, being the one below that red coin. Glad I avoided that fire there. Fire is mean in this game. I'm sure I'll show what happens when you get set on fire eventually. But basically, you get burned and you're forced to run around for a bit, and the fire does three total damage to you. Anyways, got another one up there. There's an amp, I believe it's called. Or am I mixing that up with the... I, I might be mixing that up with the Mario 2 enemies. I honestly don't remember. I think they're amps. I don't know. N I'm not completely sure. Anyways, we've already got a pretty good amount of red coins. We have an alternate route we can go on here to get another red coin. As well as another life. It's too bad your lives get reset if you turn the game off, though. We've got some tipping platforms here that we might just avoid going for that life and, and this red coin here as we sidle down the little walkway here, sidle down the little ledge. But now we want to get on top of here, we could have done by climbing those platforms, but... I uh, know, we want to go this way. This is where the last red coin is. And that gives us a star right there, right up at the end of the level. This star counts as one of the castle's secret stars. And up here, this makes the stairs up here for a limited amount of time. Mario, it's Peach. Please be careful. Bowser is so wicked. He will try to burn you with his horrible flame breath. Run around behind and grab him by the tail with the B button. Once you grab hold, swing him around in great circles. Rotate the control stick to go faster and faster. The faster you swing him, the farther he'll fly. 
use the C buttons to look around, Mario. You have to throw Bowser into one of the bombs in the four corners. Did she say four corners? I thought there were five. Aim well, then press B again to launch Bowser. Good luck, Mario. Our fate is in your hands. Anyways, King bob -omb also gave us a hint about swinging Bowser by the tail. Wow, another power star. Mario gains more courage from the power of the castle. And that star doesn't take us out of the level. Ones in, you know, these Bowser stages don't take you out. Tough luck, Mario. Princess Toadstool isn't here. Gwahaha. Go ahead, just try to grab me by the tail. You'll never be able to swing me around. A wimp like you won't throw me out of here. Never. Haha. <laughs> There's only one ha there. Whatever. So yeah, Bowser will do that flame breath. Okay, there are only four bombs in this fight. So yeah, he does flame breath, and that can make coins appear, so you can heal. Because for some reason, coins give Mario health in this game. Is fire all you're gonna do? I know you have more moves, but I'm not sure if that's for, like, later fights. Maybe fire really is all you do. Anyways, so we can, like, flame Bowser around. And if we throw him the wrong way, similar to the King bob -omb fight, he just jumps back up and he's not really bothered by it. Okay, that hurts. Anyways, and if we swing him slowly... You know, he doesn't really go all that far. But that can help you reposition him to where you want him. And all it takes is one bomb and he's defeated. Grr, I was a bit careless. This is not as I had planned. But I still hold the power of the stars. And I still have Peach. Bwahaha. You'll get no more stars from me. I'm not finished with you yet, but I'll let you go for now. You'll pay for this later. And he drops a key. Bowser in the dark world, clear. Also, you can't jump past that hole that it's an invisible wall. Anyways, so we've got a key. We should check out what that does. Does it open this door? This key doesn't fit. Maybe it's for the basement. Yeah, no, we can't just use these keys wherever we want. They go to a specific door. That's how it works. They work like real keys. And there we go, into the basement. Now that we have access to the basement, we can actually get to levels 6, 7, and 8. But I don't really want to do those before going to level 5. So we won't be going there yet. It takes the power of 30 stars to open this door. You need 21 more stars. Yeah, we'll at least explore the basement a bit though, now that we have access to it. We've got a toad over here. Didn't mean to punch ya. Wow, you've already recovered that many stars? Way to go, Mario. I bet you'll have us out of here in no time. Be careful, though. Bowser and his band wrote the book on bad. Take my advice. When you need to recover from injuries, collect coins. 
Yellow coins refill one piece of the power meter, red coins refill two pieces, and blue coins refill five. To make blue coins appear, pound on blue coin blocks. Also, if you fall from high places, you'll minimize damage if you pound the ground as you land. Thank you for the tip on negating fall damage. Also, the fire on these walls will hurt you, so don't mess with them. So we've got a scary fiery painting. We've got this dead end here. We've got a room over this way, so let's check this out real quick. And what the heck is that? It's like a, a, a well full of oil or something. Yeah. Whatever that is, let's not mess with it now. Then over this way, we've got some water and another door up these stairs. If we head through here, there's a little slide back to the start of the basement, but, you know, that's not really where we want to go, so let's head back up. You're not supposed to be able to go this way, but I know that you can. Somehow. Okay, fine, we'll go around. <laughs> So yeah, let's actually check out this water. So over here, we've got a sign. It is decreed that one shall pound the pillars. Alright, I'll do that then. And with that, the water is drained, so we could go through that door now. But first I want to head out here. Because if you go into these four corners here... A one-up appears in the middle of the water. Anyways, let's actually go this way now. And we're back outside. The moat has been drained. There's still a little lake out here, but it's a lot lower now. We can get up through that ramp there. There's some coins here that we can get with a good wall kick. It's a bit difficult. Let's try doing it a little differently, maybe. Come on, I got one. Getting these coins is completely pointless, but I still want to get them because they're there. Never mind, it's not pointless because it gives you another one-up. And there's still some water over here by this waterfall. Anyways, let's head into this hole. Welcome to the Vanish Cap Switch Course. All of the blue blocks you find will become solid once you step on the cap switch. You'll disappear when you put on the Vanish Cap, so you'll be able to elude enemies and walk through many things. Try it out. Okay, so we're given the Vanish Cap for a short amount of time. 
I'm already messing up by going the wrong way because I didn't look where I was going first. Well, I guess this is a good opportunity to show that you don't really die in this stage if you fall off. You just get kicked out here. Coming out of, out of that hole over there. But yeah, so back in here, to vanish cap under the moat. If you actually look before you go down, you can see that we've got some red coins to get. As well as a one-up. And another one-up. Got our final red coins on this slope, but I'd still like to get that other one up. Now we can't get the vanish cap here since we haven't hit the switch yet, but as they said, the switch is in this level. Okay, these guys. These guys have a little secret but I'm not sure how long it takes. Okay, I'm definitely gonna cut some of that out because I just looked up this secret and apparently it doesn't exist. I don't know where I heard this from, but I thought that this thing would chase you and explode on you if you let it run out of fire. But apparently it doesn't run out of fire. I'm not really sure how long I spent trying to make that happen, so... Uh, yeah, and I'm not sure how much of that I'm gonna cut out. Anyways, let's just continue on. So these things are awkward because they turn when they reach the top. So you gotta be careful there, we don't want to fall. Then this is a tilty platform. Come on. These jumps are a little tricky. Oh my gosh, okay. Yeah, it started turning before I was ready. I'm really curious how long I spent waiting for that like, fireball to just blow up when it was never gonna happen. I was sure that was a thing, though. But apparently it's just not. Anyways, I guess let's just try this again. Technically, we still haven't died, because falling in the pit on this level doesn't kill you. So here, we're gonna want to jump a little earlier. Yeah, you've gotta jump a little earlier than you wanna jump. Please no! There we go, do the backflip. And there's our last red coin there. You've just stepped on the Vanish Cap switch. The Vanish Cap makes Mario disappear. Now Vanish Caps will pop from all of the blue blocks you find. Would you like to save? Yes. And there's the vanish cap, and now we can go through these gratings, too. And if you manage to get in here without having gotten all the red coins, also getting those coins gets you a 1-up. But if you get trapped in here, 
you can also just drop down that hole to get out of here. But we thankfully have succeeded at getting all the red coins and can get this star. Here we go! Yahoo! Another one of the castle's secret stars. And now that we have ten stars, something else should be available to us. Something interesting. So let's just head back in the front here. And you might notice that something has changed. At 10 stars, a light is now shining down on this sun symbol. And if we go to look at where the light's coming from... We are suddenly flying! Welcome to the wing cap course. Step on the red switch at the top of the tower, in the center of the rainbow ring. When you trigger the switch, all of the red blocks you find will become solid. Try out the wing cap. Do the triple jump to take off and press Z to land. Pull back on the control stick to go up and push forward to nose down just as you would when flying an airplane. Okay, so... We've got a coin trail to follow. And we want to do that to get all these red coins, which... We have to get on the way down, because you can't really fly up too much with this ability. And I screwed up. Alright, I got the star to appear. And we made it. And we got the red switch. You've stepped on the wing cap switch. Wearing the wing cap, you can soar through the sky. Now wing caps will pop out of all the red blocks you find. Would you like to save? Yes. So yeah, we... And now we can get the star in Tower of the Wing Cap. Here we go. And this is another one of those levels, like the uh, Vanish Cap under the moat thing, where, um, you know, if you fall off of it, you don't die. Yeah, the light's gone, but you can still go into that level by looking up into where the light was. Anyways, we're up to 11 stars now. Which is actually one star short of unlocking new things. So, let's try going back to Womp's Fortress. to the top of the fortress. Doesn't seem to be anything in that tree. Anyways, we already have an idea of how to get to the top of the fortress here. And we know a shortcut too. So you bet we're gonna use it. And now here we are. And you'll notice that there's now a tower here where King Womp was. Did they turn King Womp into the tower? Well, he kind of appears in a later game, so maybe not. But yeah, there's a little hidden one-up in there if you punch that. There's some bullet bills around us. Around here that can try to hurt us. But they're not gonna bother us while we're up on these higher levels. 
Whoa. Yeah. And this last ledge here is an elevator. There were some platforms going in and out, but they weren't much of a challenge. And there's our star. So now that we have 12 stars, a couple things have changed. One thing is that a toad has appeared in the basement, but we'll talk to him later. Because the thing I want to do first is checking this out. Yeah, there's a boo here now. And there's actually lots of boos. So to defeat a boo, you gotta get behind it and attack them. Because if you're facing them, they'll just, you know, disappear and you won't be able to hurt them. Now, running around the booze is pretty awkward. So the way you really want to do this is by luring them to you and then ground pounding. That is the winning strategy here. And look, there's a much bigger boo that has something interesting in him. So let's get him. And hey look, it's a little cage with something inside. And we shrink into it. Here's course five, Big Boo's Haunt. Let's go on a ghost hunt. Come on in here, heh <laughs> heh Okay, so what the heck is this thing? I was gonna try to use that to get up there, but never mind. It hops a few times and breaks, and it has coins in it. Running around in circles makes ba some bad guys roll their eyes. We'll have to remember that. Doesn't look like there's a sign over here. The vanish cap is inside the blue block. Mr. I will be surprised since you'll be invisible when you wear it. Even the big boo will be fooled, and you can walk through secret walls too. You don't stand a ghost of a chance in this house. If you walk out of here, you deserve a ghoul medal. Psst, the boos are super shy if you look them in the eyes. They fade away, but if you turn your back, they reappear. It's no use trying to hit them when they're fading away. Instead, sneak up behind them and punch. Or, you know, use the better ground-pounding tactic. Anyways, so we've got a haunted mansion and a bunch of doors to go into. So let's try each one. We've got a piano here. The mad piano. Some crazy monster. Kinda scary, but not really threatening. And now these chairs want to destroy us. There's also some booze coming out of that hidden wall here. Since we have the vanish cap, we can go through it. And we can see that we also could have got in here by going in a door in the back. Ghosts don't die. Hehehe, <laughs> can you get out of here alive? Ghosts don't die. Hehe, <laughs> can you get out of here alive? We triggered two messages by destroying two of those ghosts at once. And we've got some monster books coming for us. Anyways, we've defeated two ghosts and checked out two of these doors. Let's continue on our ghost hunt. 
Same message again. And here's a Mr. I. So let's make him roll his eyes, or his eye, rather. He gets dizzy, and he turns into a blue coin. Lots of enemies here giving us blue coins. Then we've got a bridge to run across here. There is an area down below that we would land in if we actually fell down. We wouldn't die from falling, but let's not go there yet if we can avoid it. We have successfully hunted another ghost. Boom! Here comes the Master of Mischief. The Tower of Terror, the Big Boo. Ha <laughs> ha ha. Ha. Alright, here he is, the Big Boo. You fight him the same way as any other boo. You can, like, punch him or dive at him, but as always, the best method is this ground pound method. He takes three hits, though, unlike, you know, the normal boos that take one. And now a star is on the second floor, and this staircase conveniently appears to help us out with that. It's also worth noting that I'm pretty sure that big boo came out of that ghost portrait there. I think. Anyways. Let's grab our star. And move on. Or, you know, maybe we won't move on. Because that's probably about it for this video. Like I said, I don't know how much I'm cutting out of me trying to reveal an Easter egg that didn't exist. But, um... Uh, in the next video, we will be exploring the basement. I'm the Terminian Hero, and I will see you then.